Number four, the Loftus Hall in Ireland can be yours for just $2.89 million, and it comes with 63 acres and a private beach. The hall was built in 1350, and yes, I said 1350, and it has a lot of history, but nothing more chilling than this. It was once owned by the Tottenham family, who had a daughter named Anne. Well, one night during a terrible storm, a ship washed up on their beach, and a handsome man asked for shelter. Well, as time went on, the young Anne and the mystery man became close until one night they were playing cards when Anne bent over to pick up a card she dropped and she saw a cloven foot. Not sure what that is. Either way, Anne became mentally ill after that and she was locked away in the tapestry room where she refused food or water and eventually died. Anne still haunts the halls to this day. Ghost Adventures visited the hall, not sure of what they captured. Either way, it just looks haunted. Number three, the Brandon Hall Plantation in Natchez, Mississippi can be all yours for just $3.9 million. Built in 1856, the plantation was home to Charlotte Hogarth, daughter of successful planter named Nathaniel Hogarth, and was a working cotton plantation for many years. In 1914, George Hightower bought the plantation, and since then, the plantation has had 11 different owners. It was most recently a bed and breakfast. Visitors and owners alike report hearing the rustling of petticoats and catch smells of strange perfumes in many areas of the plantation. Could it be Charlotte? Who knows? Number two, the Schwepp Mansion in Lake Forest, Illinois is on the market for $9.5 million. The mansion was built in 1970 for Laura and Charles Schwepp. The couple lived happily in the mansion for 20 years until Laura died tragically of a heart attack. Four years later, Charles committed suicide within the mansion. Many say the couple still remains there today. Number one, the Campbell Castle in Wichita, Kansas was listed for just over $3 million. Built in 1886 by Burton Harvey and his wife, Ellen. They lived there until 1908. And then the home changed hands several times and was most recently a bed and breakfast. The castle was built with parts salvaged from historic European castles. And what came with those parts? Many say ghosts. See you next time.